Namaste and crystal blessings to my earthly celestial and elemental soul tribe in this realm and beyond. Nikki from Nikki Anita Cosmic Creative wishing you all the highest vibration of love wherever you are. And may you be filled with magic always. And today I would love to share this beautiful book by Enwin Avalon, The Water Witchcraft. Anwin has um, her own uh, YouTube channel where you can check on it. I can also share the link or you can just search for her name, Anwin Avalon, and you can find her channel. And she makes a lot of videos and explaining, you know, her journey and she's the uh, water priestess. So I came across this book because I wanted to get a book on um, working with the bodies of water. But majority of the books uh, out there is usually connected to the ocean, more ocean-based. But this one is interesting because it comprises all bodies of water. So I thought like, okay, you know, we'll take a look at this. So it says, Magic and Lore from the Celtic Tradition. And uh, the back of the book, it says, Water, Witch, and Avalon presents a comprehensive guide to Celtic water lore, including spells, rituals, water spirits, and merfolk. It is all included. Anywhere that it's water source in this beautiful um, Mama Earth. So you can connect to, <clears throat> not every one of us are, you know, close to the ocean. We only have, here we only have you know, the lake next to our house and ocean is far away so we can just like okay let's drive down to the ocean so sometimes we don't so when the um, rituals and spellcraft and books are more connected to um, ocean energy sometimes we feel like we need to get close to an ocean or imagine which we can you know so being close to salt water but because this book uh, connects you to anywhere there's water source spring water you know a creek like we have a creek next to our house the lake river anywhere the beautiful water energy flows from mama earth organ organically so it is uh, anyone can connect to it and work with it because we have you know source of water from the rain and um, and also if you are familiar with the work of uh, the late Dr. Masaru Emoto you know how powerful it is because our water has memory we can program a beautiful crystalline liquid vibration of the water molecules okay water can turn into gas it can be solidified it can be crystalline you know in many it is a uh, expensive to connect to us so we can work with ice you know when it's winter and when it rains we are always surrounded by this beautiful water energy and that is why I find this book is very interesting. And uh, for those who have never heard of it, I can share the link. Because I get this from uh, Sweden. I used to get all my uh, books and cards from uh, Book Depository. But since Brexit, they've changed their prices and they stopped delivery for a while. So I need to look for local sources. So I really can't share the link because it is more local. I get it from Sweden, so, but you can, you know, browse and see where you can find them at where you are. And, um, okay, let's see what it says here. Um, so, where did I stop? Yeah. So, she explores the magic of the sea, but also features lakes, rivers, canals, swamps, and other watery locations as well as the craft and magic that have been and continue to be practiced at these places. 
Within these pages, you will learn how to set up your own personal water altars, <clears throat> shrines, gather or craft the magical tools of water witchery and access the power of rain and ice. Most crucially, you will learn how to connect and communicate with the water spirits themselves. So Anwin Avalon takes us on a fascinating journey that explores the various types of water and the associated folklore, deities, and magical beings and offers practices and exercises that serve as a guide for becoming a water witch and using the enormous power of this element. Okay, this is by um, Sander Kynes, author of Sea Magic, Connecting with the Ocean's Energy. And this is also uh, by Gemma Gary, who says, Anuin Avalon's enchanted book dares to peer deep into, wa into the waters, the mirror bitwigs with worlds revealing unto the reader a rich trove of spirits, ancient deities, eldritch beings, stories and lore. Deeply practical too. The book reveals tools, substances, rites, charms and spells, both traditional and innovative, enabling the reader to fully explore, connect uh, with and employ water in all its forms as a potent vehicle for power and transformation. Okay, this is by Gemma Carey, uh, the author of Wished Waters, Aqueous Magica and the Cult of Holy Wells and Traditional Witchcraft, a Cornish book. Of ways. So Anwin Avalon is a witch and priestess and the founder of the Trisicle Rose, an Avalonian witchcraft tradition. Anwin writes the Water Witch blog and is an award-winning internationally known dancer with a repertoire of water and mermaid themed belly dance performances. You must take a look. Yes, she does that. I remember that. Water and mermaid themed belly dance. And who knows, you know, we can also start doing it and connecting with that energy. Beautiful. So let's take a look. Uh, of course, you have the sprays for water witchcraft. You, know, you have all the um, other writers who have, uh, have their words on this beautiful book. And then you have um, Forward by Sky Alexander. Let's see. So this is, um, the first edition is in 2019, so it's still quite new, this book. So let's see the contents. Okay, you have chapter one, The Magic of Water. Then you have two river witches, three sacred well witches, four lake witches, five marsh witches, six sea witches, seven local water spirits, eight mermaids and fin folk, nine water witchery. And then you have conclusion, bibliography, internet resources, and index of magical exercises. The last page. So yes, because this includes everywhere there is a source of water around us that we can work with so this is a very good book that we can connect to let's see what they have in the magic of water this introduction water witchcraft Okay, under the magic of water, chapter one, you have water by any other name. The subtitles are there. So that goes for black water, blackish water, dew, fog and mist, hail and or sleet, marsh, box, swamp, or canal water mud, sea water, fountains and pools, pond and lake water, rain water, river water, 
snow or ice, spring and well water, and waterfalls. And then you have water altars and shrines and the exercise. How do you create a water order? A water altar, sorry. Water altar, did I say that? Rewiring of the brain. <laughs> and you have the holy and sacred water, uh, which is charm water, moon water, how you can um, bless them. Hexstone water, floral water, gemstone elixirs, salt water, silver water, then tools for water, which is interesting. And then chapter 2, you go to river, which is river and streams. River spirits, canals, ghosts, and dark waters, grounding and shielding, and you have exercises under there at um, each sub titles. Then you have cleansing and um, purification, water blessings, and you have the exercises. And we go to chapter 3, Sacred Well Witches. You have saints and well spirits. trees and holy wells and then you have you also have and I'm not mentioning everything but you have all this sub titles under there other well guardians minerals and chemicals well charms and customs votive offerings fossilized ammonites Clutes and chapter four on Lake Witches Lodge Water Horses Lake Ladies and Water Maidens and then you also have so Spirits, and then chapter five, marsh witches, marsh creatures, toads and frogs, other marshy spirits, dew. Then chapter six, sea witches. You have float some and jet some. Moon magic. Ocean tides, shells, other treasures of the sea, seaweed, traditional ocean charms. Mm -hmm. I'll come back to this. Local water spirits. Okay, this is chapter 7. <clears throat> Local water spirits. Visiting water. Collecting water. Offerings to water. And then uh, mermaids and finfolk. This is chapter 8. You have tales from the watery world. Spirits of the Merfolk. Water animals. Mirror and comb magic. And then chapter 9, Water Witchery. 
sacred flower water. Let's see, using magic potions and elixirs. Washes and purifying sprays. Healing and cleansing baths. Moon and seasonal baths. Other ritual baths. And the conclusion. Yes. One eight seven. And this is the author. I mean have one. I want to read this. Okay, this is from um Chapter six, sea witches. So there is a um, incantation, healing spell for the water. So much for uh, of our water today is being polluted, and the creatures that live within is constantly in danger. This powerful spell can be used anywhere to protect and tend waters that need protection. So select a tumbled quartz crystal and charge it every day under a new moon as it grows to full. You can also whisper incantations of healing over the stone and charge it with healing energy. On the full moon, take the stone to the ocean and wait out far enough so that nine waves can flow past you. Okay, this is you need to have to be by the ocean. And you can practice this. And cast the stone into the water, reciting this incantation. Spirits of the sea, I am here to heal thee. With my power and my will, I calm these waters and make them still. Still to heal and to calm. Heal to clean. Clean to heal. These waters are sacred, blessed, and flow clean at will. So this is just an example I'm giving uh, for this incantation for the spirits of the sea. And I'm sure there's also others for other spirit, uh, you know, um, bodies of water that we can work with. I, to, I have to look for the lake and uh, the creek and, yeah, things that is available around me. And when it rains, but there's always water. We also use spring water uh, daily. That we have beautiful spring water that um, that we use, and we're really blessed. It can get a little frozen during winter, but we have yeah a little gadget that warms up the circulation. So. So you can take a look at this book. And if you're looking forward to buy a book uh, to work with water energy, this is highly recommended because it comprises all bodies of water, not only the ocean. And yes, Water Witchcraft, Magic and Lore from the Celtic Tradition by Anuin Avalon. interesting and um, and I hope you enjoyed this little sharing and for further discovering you can go and check on the author's beautiful YouTube and uh, see her videos she also do yeah mermaid belly dancing and beautiful energy priestess of the water <laughs> So thank you for joining me. I will do a little reading today for our triple five in another video. So yes, lots of blessings and lots of magic and love. As always, in Lakesh, namaste. Love you all.